All right, we are back on Hero Coliseum, and it's time to test out a very specific figure that I want to try with EX-16. Now, that very, very specific figure, you probably saw it in the thumbnail anyways, is Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, the OG Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Because if you remember this guy, I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody's tried this. Somebody had to have tried it, unless this doesn't work. If this doesn't work, then perhaps... Everybody was like, ah, it doesn't work, I'm not even going to bother trying it. <laughs> and then my dumb ass went and tried it. But, if you remember, his ability is to raise his attack by 50% by dropping his defense and speed both to zero. This man has zero speed, zero defense. He used to be a very bad figure, like, horrible. I mean, I still like him, because he hits harder than a motherfucker. <laughs> I still like him. But... Zero speed, so you're like almost guaranteed to go second. And then zero defense, so he's pretty much guaranteed to get knocked out. He don't even have a lot of HP, you know what I'm saying? Especially this one, because I think um, I think he's only plus one, I think. I put it in his attack anyways. <laughs> I want him to hit as hard as possible, no matter what. <laughs> I don't give a dang how weak he is. But now with 16 taking all the hits, we don't have to worry about going second. We don't have to worry about him getting hit, because he's not going to get hit, because 16 takes all the hits. <laughs> so, oh, I can't wait to see this. We got Whis, ba boom, eight thousand. Not bad considering that Whis is dropping the the damage that everybody takes. Eight thousand, still pretty damn good. Let's see how Super Saiyan Four Vegeta does with fifteen thousand attack. Not even fifteen thousand attack. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> hey, he killed him. I mean, he didn't do as much as I thought he would do. That actually was a little low, a little bit. So what he has like seven thousand, seven hundred. If I round that up to like eight thousand real quick, that'd be twelve thousand attack. It's not bad. So it's something under twelve thousand attack. I like got 11,700 or something. So, that's not bad. That's not bad. He still took him out. But, like, if we fought if we fought figures who had, like, 10,000 HP and stuff, well, if, if they had 10,000, even Vegeta wouldn't have taken them out. Whis is so good. <laughs> Whis and Vados, to this day, I'm pretty sure, are pretty damn good. So, we just lost 16. Now, let's see what happens to Vegeta. Not this Vegeta. Not Vegeta Blue. I think he'll be good. Damn. He almost wasn't good. This Vegeta is about to get knocked. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. So this is just all I wanted to see was what would happen with Vegeta. It might be better to keep Jiren. Because Jiren gets knocked out easy too. And I think Jiren would do more damage to be honest. I think. How much did Jiren do last time? I think when Jiren, okay, so Jiren did hit somebody in the last video, but Whis wasn't out there, so he did maximum damage. Let's try this, see how this goes. So that means, uh, we're gonna, I said, right after this battle, I wanna compare Vegeta's damage to Jiren's damage, but Jiren has to hit Oob with Whis out. So Vegeta just did 6,800 to Oob with Whis's protection. So we gotta see how much Jiren does. In the end, in the end, even if Jiren end up, if he ends up doing less than Vegeta, I think Jiren would have a better chance of surviving though. Because Vegeta having zero defense is so bad, he might still not be usable. Then again, if Vados or Whis were out, because 16 only did 5600 damage to him, so he probably would have survived that actually, because he had what, 4800 health? With that little bit of extra protection, he probably would have survived. If I would have did what I was talking about earlier, was in the last video I was talking about in the second turn taking 16 out and putting Vados out there. Let's go, Vegeta! Heck yeah, Vegeta. I love this Vegeta. <laughs> He's good. Alright, so we're gonna go try Jiren real quick. I wanna I wanna compare them and see the difference in their damage. Alright, so real quick, we're going to go back in here. The only difference I made was I took out Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and I put in Jiren. I wish I had full power Jiren. That would be bad ash. But anyways, we have this Jiren. He hits harder than a motherfucker. He's a glass cannon, just like Vegeta Blue, just like Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Let's see how much damage he does compared to Vegeta to see which one truly is better. And the real thing I'm trying to see is if Super Saiyan 4... Super Saiyan 4, I don't know what I just said, 4. <laughs> Vegeta, oh, whoa, perfect, heck yeah. Dude, I thought I was going to have to like restart a million times to get Oob and Whis out there. This is perfect. I can't believe I got on the first try. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's bad enough having to grind for TP medals, then you got to grind for experience, then I don't have to grind for the, the perfect setup to test something. That would be 
pissed me off. <laughs> So in a way, I think I think Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta could be used. I don't think I don't know if I want to say he's viable. I want to say he could be used for fun. <laughs> Cuz back in the day, I don't even think you could use him for fun cuz he would just get wrecked right off the bat. Cuz he has to go in the front. That's what sucked about it. They could put him in the back. If you could put him in the back and then just have somebody protect him, he would have been fine. Like they messed him up. So, why didn't they give him an EX? In the future, they need to give him an EX and do something to fix him because he's just so bad. <laughs> Amazing attack, and when he hits, he hits hard on a mother rigger. All right, let's see what Jiren does now. So Vegeta did 6,800. 6, oh, 6,400. Vegeta did hit harder. Oh. Vegeta did hit harder. Huh. Okay. Okay. But when 16 dies here, will Jiren survive getting hit? If Jiren dies right now, then him and Vegeta are going to be on the same plane, right? So if they're on the same level, but Vegeta hits harder, that means Vegeta technically is better than Jiren in this particular setup. Keep in mind also that I, like I said before, I think my Vegeta is only plus one. My Jiren's like plus seven. And I put all of it in his attack. I feel so dumb. Like when I first saw him, I saw how high his attack was. I saw his abilities. I was like, dang, I want him to hit as hard as possible. Oh my God, he survived. Barely, but he survived. <laughs> That's crazy. I guess technically he's better than Vegeta. Even though Vegeta hits harder, at least Jiren survived. And then if I would have put Vados out there, he would have survived even better. But yeah, I put everything into his attack, and then I noticed, I was like, and I looked at his HP, and I, I did a couple of tests, and he was getting killed left and right, because he had like 3,000 something HP. So, oh, oh, this again? Oh, it's just Bardock. Now oh, let's just, you know, just put you here and just go. Yeah. Oh, you know what I should have did? I should have put her behind Jiren, and have them both just go in on Bardock real quick. Just in case, because what if he doesn't kill him for whatever reason? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What if he doesn't kill him and then and then we, we just get screwed? Hmm. Hmm. I forgot what I was saying. I was saying something about Jiren. Or Super Saiyan 4 or Vegeta. Which one? Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta needs an EX. Sometime in the future he needs an EX. They need to do something to fix him. I still I think I think now you could do some plays with him. He could actually be played now to the point to where you can actually get a win with him. Like, actually use him and get a win. You can't just put him on your team and then have four OP people out on the field and then say, ha, I won with Vegeta. <laughs> you can't do that. I mean, I think you can actually, with this 16, you can actually use Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and actually get a win. But I do think Jiren's better. I wish I put everything into his HP. I hate that I put it into his attack. I hate it. Every time I look at him, I'm like, damn, I ruined you. Is there a way to reset their points? I'm pretty sure there's not. If there is, oh, please tell me. Because if I can reset it, I'll put all of it in his HP. He already hits pretty damn hard. Oh, what I was going to say earlier until I went to that whole rant about Jiren was keep in mind that Jiren is plus 7 all into his attack and Vegeta is only plus 1. So Vegeta already did more damage than Jiren and if he would have been plus 7 as well or especially plus 10, he would have did even more damage. So I think he could be usable. You put Vegeta Blue and Vegeta 4 right there with 16. He takes all the hits and they just go the hell in on somebody. Like if you get plus 10 Vegeta 4, I think he'll hit way harder. Well, not way harder, obviously, but he'll, he'll, he'll do, what, 6,800 on that oob? So he would do, like, what, like, 7,002, 3, 4, maybe 5, 7,500? That's not bad. That's not bad. And then Vegeta Blue did, like, 8,800 or some crap on Whis. Imagine having two Vegeta Blues with 16. Oh, my goodness. I don't have another one, though. I have the other variant, and that wouldn't work. So please, like it if you like it. You should subscribe if you want more. And join me in the next one. All right, y'all. I'm out.